Welcome back to BBN tonight. This week, the Cats are going to be without Marquand McCall leading that defensive front. Bully is out with a lower leg injury, but when he had to leave the Florida game, his backups, Josiah Hayes and Justin Rogers, came in and played great games. Hayes talked with us yesterday about preparing for LSU, knowing he and Rogers will have to carry the load at nose guard. It's been good. It's been fine. It's me and Jester, we've been competing at the uh, nose spot, trying to get each other better and try to uh, work better for the team. It's sort of similar technique-wise, but um, I say Jester, he more of a run stopper and I'm more of like kind of a pass rusher, but like we play the same technique. Keith Josiah got dinged up a little against Florida as well, but it sounds like he's good to go on Saturday. Both of these guys were some of the highest ranked recruits Kentucky has ever brought in, and they lived up to that pedigree against the Gators. You hate to see Bully out, but it'll be great to see the young guys step up again, right? Oh, no doubt about it. Well, you mentioned their recruiting uh, rankings. Justin Rogers was a five-star player when he committed to the Cats, one of the highest rated recruits in the history of the program, so fan expectations have obviously been high for the young man. Florida was the first time he's seen extended action and it was worth the wait. Absolutely. Rogers actually graded out as the second best player on Kentucky's defense against the Gators, according to Pro Football Focus. So I caught up with him after practice earlier this week. All right, Justin, you really stepped up in a big way Saturday with Bully out. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? It was fun. You know, he told me, you know, go out there and compete. So I did what I had to do for the team. What was your mindset when your number got called? I was at first like we this like my real like first SEC like starting for real. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of I was kind of nervous, but you no, know, everything like Coach Stu said, trust your technique and everything. That's what I did and went out there and bought. You played 43 snaps Saturday. Were you ready for it? I didn't know I was gonna play that lot, but yeah, I was ready. All right, you're the second highest pro football focused grade on defense after this weekend. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. No, you didn't know that? No. You got rave reviews. Dang. How does that feel? That's 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 nice. All right, final three minutes of the game. You all kept uh, Florida out of the end zone. They were in the red zone for seven consecutive mm -hmm. plays. How were you able to do that? So I know that like the team was counting on us to stop them. So we just had to do what we had to do as a D line. What was Coach Brad White saying to you all to keep you resilient? I mean, that was tough. That was a long time. He was just saying like strain and all that type of stuff and just do your job. Don't never do too much. All right, you and Josiah are one and two on the depth chart. Do you all plan to split play evenly uh, against LSU? We just got to see on Saturday. You no, know, we just going back to back right now, so we both getting some work. Walk me through your perspective of that big blocked kick in the uh, touchdown. Oh yeah, we definitely needed that. Yeah. Um, I was on the side of uh, Josh. He was like, just get off, and uh, I got off and ran through the uh, ran through him. Awesome. What, were you on the field after the game? Yeah, it was yeah? it was mayhem. What was, like? what was the best part of that? Oh, um, just you no, know, just 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 the win, like for Kentucky. Like we definitely needed that win, and it like that. It was just crazy, like the crowd, just everybody's running up to you, you no know, screaming and all that. So it was it was it was chills for real. Really? Yeah. How was the locker room after? What was the locker room celebrating? Was that the best one? Yeah, definitely the best one. Was Coach Stoops dancing? Yeah. Can you imitate him dancing? <laughs> Come on, know. just a little bit. Just a little one. No, he just like, yeah. he just, I don't know how to do it. It's just, just a little, just. It's just like, he just be get the arm pumping. Oh, yeah, he loves that. the arm pump, doesn't yeah. he? How big was Jacquez Jones' play Saturday and Josh's? Man, it was, it was, we definitely needed that. Like, doing with some big plays, like for the D line. It was definitely big for like special teams as as he was running down the sideline. That was definitely big. What is Coach White saying to you all before LSU? Don't ever do too much. Do your job, and let's just come out here and practice hard. We definitely always put on the show for for BBN this Saturday. Well, another defensive guy who's looking to repeat a monster performance is DeAndre Square. And he's rocking a new accessory this week. <laughs> Find out why next on BBN tonight. We'll be right back. How's it working out?